Hello and welcome to Rimmer Brothers. My name's Tim. It's a beautiful sunny day here today and it's a good job because today we're going to be fitting this solar powered battery maintainer to our 300 TDI Discovery here. Now, as you'll probably be aware, a large engine like we've got in the Disco here requires a pretty much a fully topped up battery to give it the cranking power necessary in order to turn over. So this is why one of these solar powered battery maintainers is a good idea. You're not going to have to worry about whether your engine's going to start in the morning because it's always going to maintain your battery to that topped up level. So what we're going to do is get uh, down to the process of fitting it. With this kit, there are a couple of options on how you're actually going to attach your maintainer to your battery to keep it topped up. Your first option is simply your common or garden cigarette lighter socket. What you do need to test is whether when you've got the power switched off, i.e. the ignition isn't on or the key isn't turned, that the power does actually flow to your cigarette lighter socket. Now the way I'm going to test that is I'll just pop out the little cigarette lighter and we've got a, it's just a mobile phone charger and the LED will light up if when the ignition is turned off the power is flowing it doesn't flow on this one if you if it does and this the was to light up on your particular system then you'd be able to use this and it would this would reverse the charge once we'd connected it to the solar charger it would reverse the charge uh, back down the cigarette socket and back to the battery you can leave it on overnight it's not going to drain your battery um, but what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use the crocodile clips and attach them directly to the battery uh, running it alongside the scuttle panel and through the door that's what I'm going to show you next okay we've popped the bonnet and before we actually um, attach the crocodile clips to the battery I'm just gonna tease this out and we've already fitted the little suction cups to the battery maintainer itself and once it's actually charging if it's if it's under power there's a little blue LED flashing here I don't know whether you can actually see that on camera it's quite bright so you probably can't so what we'll do is we'll just I'm just gonna place it on the windscreen like this and then what I'll do is I'll run this cable through the door and into the uh, into the bonnet bay we'll show you that next the great thing about this disco is that the panels do have gaps that you can put the wire into. Now I've just run it alongside and, and by the side of the door and you're not going to have any issues with trapping the wire, if, obviously if you're careful, which is a great thing. So then I can run it along here and all I have to do is I'm going to just slot it down into these convenient gaps here and run it down towards the battery before we attach the crocodile clips. Obviously, for security and safety, you can cable tie this if you wish. Now that we've run the cable down towards the battery, it's just a simple matter of connecting the crocodile clips. It's an easy male-female connection, and it'd be the same for the cigarette lighter as well. As with all things, when you're connecting anything to a battery, always connect the negative first and then the positive. Now as I mentioned before, you can leave this on and it will optimize your battery, keep it charged up, save you the headache of having to wonder whether your vehicle is going to start in the morning. However, this should be disconnected before you start the engine, uh, otherwise you could damage the solar maintainer itself. Um, if you decide to use the unit on the outside of the vehicle permanently, which is unlikely in a scenario like this, but uh, just a little tip, it is advised that you run a little silicon bead between the plastic and the actual solar panel itself just to maintain its weatherproof integrity. Um, but overall, essentially that is all it uh, takes and you've got your solar panel attached and you should maintain your battery and have no uh, worries about starting. And there we go.